and someone else was willing to pay that debt on your behalf. That's what Jesus Christ did when he died on the cross. And all of your good works, the Bible says, the book of Isaiah says, all of our righteous acts are as filthy rags before God. And the Bible says there is no one righteous, no not one, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Your good works won't mean anything to God on, the ju on Judgment Day because you've sinned just one time and all your good works in the world can't wash away one sin. And Sam, you've got to be holy and perfect before God. And there's only one way you can be perfect before God. Buddha ain't going to do it for you. Hindu gods ain't going to do it for you. Only the, only the shed blood of Jesus I actually, Christ. I actually am a Christian. <laughs> Alright, here's the thing. I just don't agree with what you guys do. I don't at all. Fine. Then go believe, go say go save somebody your own way. Go I have believe, a one on one conversation I, with somebody. I, I believe in I believe in Christ about that. I do. I'll admit it. I do. I love Christ. Here's the thing, is you guys don't ever just take the time to actually understand what other people are going through, why they do the things you do. You have well, them, you know, wait, so I, can I can't do that with twenty thousand people. Yeah, well you know what? Maybe you should start trying. You should get some more people out and start doing one on one time Jesus. people. Oh, we do lots of one on one. Jesus would see everyone. Yeah, yeah, lots of you one on one. Come over here and you act like hey, all you guys are sinners. But no, I don't, I don't care that your brother died, that you got fucking abused as a child, that you know you have no parents whatsoever, that you're living on the streets, and that you're trying to get by. What you do is, you punch him in the I face and go, hey, hey like, you said all I gotta say, man. Yeah. You don't ever look at that and go, hey, you know what, let me get you some help, let me help you clean is up. That, is that what you're out here doing tonight? Are you out here talking to people one-on-one -on -one about Jesus Christ and, and feeling their pain? Or are you out here getting drunk? I do, I'm not even drunk here, man. All right, I'm just asking drunk. you a question. I'm only, I'm only 18, I can't get drunk. All right. Here's the thing. Since I've been 18, I was hooked on cocaine. I, I, I drank a lot. I did pot pretty much every day. I, and even then, even when I was doing all that stuff, I still never fucking actually hurt anybody, or I never fucking stole anything or cheated. I got into like a huge score on my SATs, got into college, quit all the shit that I was on, and fucking worked myself from the ground up. Right? And which of these things do you think is going to mean anything to God? The fact that I fucking actually helped people out even though I was... Why I, is your mouth... Why is your mouth so so it impure? Matter, it's like it, it does, does matter. It does One day you'll have to give an account for every here's, idle word that you've spoken. Here's, here's it thing, does man. matter. Here's, here's thing, I don't know man. why you claim to be a Christian and say being a foul mouth person who's hassling a preacher is I'm is. I'm trying to debate with you. Here's the thing: you guys don't ever want to debate. You guys don't ever want to talk. I I, I don't know what, what is believe. it that I'm doing. I'm talking to you. I'm letting no, I'm letting hundreds of people here's I'm letting talking. hundreds of people walk by and not hear the message of God so I can take time with you. So make it important because you're costing all these people a chance to hear the gospel message. Now you claim to be a Christian. Great. Then go and share your faith. If you don't like the way, if I said something that is untrue or unbiblical, call me out on it. But if you just don't like my style, so what? Go somewhere else. You're all born again Christian. All of them. You guys want to damn everybody for being fucking gay. I'm That's out here preaching mean? the good news. But if I, if you don't, if people don't understand that they need saved from something, yes, then great. telling them about a savior Perfect won't mean it make any difference. Why is being gay a sin? Because the Bible says so very clearly. Yeah, Do the not Bible be deceived. Was also written by a bunch of Middle Eastern you men. claim you claim to be a Christian and you and you you deny the you deny the validity of the Bible. You're you're no more a Christian. You're no more a Christian than than some Hindu or atheist walking around. Oh, I I agree with the Bible 100%. No, yeah. I don't deny. I don't pick and choose what parts of the Bible I choose to agree with or don't, like you do. You go by the Bible, which is like retardedly inaccurate a bunch of facts. Wow, what a Christian! This is this is this is what turns people off to Christianity. Someone who claims to be a Christian and says that the Bible is retarded. Yeah, that you're you're you're, you're you're so far from being a Christian it's not even funny because if you were a true convert, you'd be broken. A true anger, convert. Is it, is it anger a sin too? I believe it is. No, not anger, righteous buddy. anger. No, I'm, I'm telling you, you're, you're, keeping me, you're keeping me from spreading the gospel to all these people walking by because you claim to be a Christian and you say the Bible's retarded. You have a foul mouth. And out of the abundance of your heart, the mouth. mouth speaks. You know what? The fact is, having a foul mouth, yeah, you have a son right there. You're good. Having a foul mouth has nothing to do with sinning. It's the action oh, yeah. behind the yeah. mouth. It's no, it's one day you'll have to give an account for every idle like word say, that you've spoken. Say, yeah, fuck it. There's no meaning behind it. Yeah, you'll have to give an That's account like for that. Yeah, because like, I know you brought a Christian. What you do is you put words in place of the swear words, right? So you don't actually say the swear words. 
but you still have the same meaning behind it. Like if I were to call this guy a googly goo, and I really would say something really mean about him, that's a, that's a huge sin right there. But you guys think, oh no, because I'm actually saying the word, it doesn't mean it. Well, the fact that you call the fact that you call the Bible retarded and disagree with it and say what it says is untrue tells me flat out you're not a Christian. So I mean, here I'll give you a gospel track. Read that. You don't. I'm not gonna read it. You don't want to read. You don't want a gospel track. If you're a Christian, you wouldn't want to pass that on to somebody else. No, so they'd be you know saying, you don't want to do your magical one-on-ones with people. I let me people. let me advise you. I, I, don't do any one-on-ones with anybody. Don't don't feel anybody's pain and, and tell them how how wonderful a Christian you are and how good of a person you are, Sam. I do. Or, or go tell. You know I, don't tell anyone just, you're a Christian because Christian. you call the Bible retarded. It is retarded. You you I swear like I, every third word out of your mouth practically is a cuss word or whatever. Yeah, don't please don't tell anybody you're Christian because that's what turns people off no, or hypocrites. Don't people, don't people don't like us. People don't like us because because they don't because want because you, they love their sin. You're, you're they love your sin attitude. too much, Sam. You love your sin way too much. Why did God put us here and give you us love, life if he if you know he didn't expect us to actually go out and have fun? You guys are oh, I'm having a great time. I'm having a great time. I love this. I could, I could be doing anything I want. I could be at home. I could be watching TV. I could be hanging out on a couch. I could be boating. Yeah, I am. Where's your wife at right now? Why is she out here with you? She's at home, Doing taking what? care of the kids. Yeah, why aren't they out here with you? Why aren't you spending some quality time? I got my I got my friend Justin with me. Oh, I'll spend quality time, spend quality time with him today. Who are you, who are you to tell me how much time I spend with my family? You have no idea. Because you're, you're I'm doing what a righteous Christian man should be doing. Yeah, going into all the nations and preach the gospel every to every creature. About how little like, no, I'm dissing I'm dissing you because you're condemned no, you're already. Everybody. You're condemned already, Sam. Hey. He that believeth on the Son is not condemned, but he that believeth not on the Son is condemned already. Okay, you're a walking zombie. You are, but, you, but that's not what we want for you. God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. I want I you to come to repentance. I, I want you to. You. I, I want you to you step go, down off the you throne. Die. You're and just you go, like I was when I was 20. When you, when God, when God yeah, I can't you, wait God till I die and go to heaven too. It's gonna be awesome. You go. You are a total dick to all these people. You didn't try to help one person out. No, God. God isn't as big a potty mouth as you are. Go fuck yourself. He's just need you to help. I cannot wait for that. Oh yeah. I can't wait to look at you as I'm dead. Look at you and go. Yeah. How's that fucking? Yeah. And the saints will judge the world. So. You know, we'll we'll see each other again. I hope that we're brothers in Christ on that day. And I don't. I'm, I'm not brother. there. If you're you're, you're so no brother. Me, you're no like brother of mine. Asshole. You call. You're everything that comes out of your mouth is filth. I you call it. the Bible retarded. Here's a you wait, say wait, wait, that, wait, wait, that you say the homosexuality is perfectly fine when the it Bible is. says that it's clear. Why is it? You're wait, no more a Christian than that building fine, is. Fine. If you want it, you want to do that. Explain to me exactly why. It's not saying because it's in the Bible. But explain it because you're supposed to understand this stuff. So when do you mean why being gay is a sin? Well, Jesus Christ himself said that from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female, and for this cause, a man shall leave a man shall leave his wife and shall leave his family and cleave to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. Jesus Christ made it very clear that marriage is between a man and a woman. Uh, Leviticus 18, Leviticus 20, both say that a man shall not lie with a man. Another man is an abomination. First Corinthians 6, 9 and 10 says, I'm not talking about the Bible. What, my opinion doesn't mean anything. It doesn't my mean opinion doesn't mean I'm anything. Just like your opinion doesn't mean anything. Explain the only thing that matters is what is true. And the only truth comes from this Bible. I want and if I, you know what I wish wasn't, you know what I wish wasn't in the Bible? Just like you wish whatever. You wish homosexuality wasn't in the Bible as being wrong. I wish Jesus never said, if you look with lust, you've committed adultery already. My life would be so much easier if I could look with lust. I would love it, but I don't get to pick and choose what things I agree with in the Bible and what I don't. There are things that are very hard. Now, things like drunkenness and theft, they're not difficult for me. Certainly homosexuality is not difficult for me. Whatever. Those are not sins that I have a problem with. But anger and lust are two things that I do have issues with. Now, and I had to lay them at the foot of the cross. I had to one day tell God, you know what, I, I of my own power cannot get over the anger and the lust that I have in my heart. My flesh craves it too much. And there's pleasure in sin for a season. But in the end, the wages of sin is death. And realizing that, I said, God, I lay these down before you. And I, in my mind, I took my anger and I took my lust and I laid it down at the foot of the cross. And I said, God, it's yours. It's yours. I give it up. I turn 180 degrees from it. And Jesus said, who any man who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is not fit for the kingdom of God. 